Guys, I'm back with some more animation news and I'm pretty excited about this one. And before we all start, I just want to say that this is an Argentinian production which makes some names rather unpronounceable for me, so I hope you forgive me for that. Um, but let's get started, I would say. Juan José Campanella is uh, the director of the Oscar-winning live-action movie The Secret in Their Eyes. Now he is making his very first animation movie, and the original title of that one is Metegol, I think, but the English title, which is more pronounceable for me, is Foosball, so we'll go with that title. Foosball is going to be released in 2013. Originally, they thought they could make it in 2012, the release date, but that did not happen, so we'll have to watch, wait and watch the movie in 2013. Now, he is trying to make a 3D animation movie for, let's say, 10 million dollars. Now, that is a very small amount of money for an animation movie. And he said, well, he knows that, obviously, and he said he was really focusing on the new visual style. Now, um, you might understand that better if you watch this picture and I tell you the synopsis of the story of the movie. The movie is about um, a man, Amadeo, and he's very talented in playing table football. Now, obviously, that's his, that is his only talent and obviously that doesn't make much money as an adult. But that is going to change when a very famous uh, football legend comes back to his village and wants to buy the entire village, then demolish it and build the world's biggest football stadium where the village used to be. Now, Amadeo wants to, you know, stop that plan. He wants to try that, to, you know, interrupt that plan. And he's getting help of the little guys who magically comes come to life of the table football. As you can tell, those are these guys. These are uh, little men of, um, you know, the characters that you play with when you play table football. And together with Amadeo, a real man, they're trying to stop um, the football legend. Now, um, as you can see, the visual style is actually really nice. You know, you, you see that they went for a lightly damaged and um, used objects like, you know, the real table football if you play it a lot. And I think that really worked out great. Um, obviously, as always, all the pictures, all the trailers, all the teasers and whatnot are going to, the links are going to be placed in the description bar below. So this picture will be shown as well and you can watch this on your computer screen which is a lot more clear and a lot better than my camera so um, please take the time to go and watch this first picture the, the link and that you can enjoy it yourself now the very first image that we got from the um, from the movie it's not very clear on my camera but anyway is this one and you yeah you you can see the the story already a little bit unfolding so yeah beautiful art if you ask me and this is more the computer animation because the previous uh, picture as you will see if you watch it on your own computer screen is more um, 2d animation this is the the computer animated stuff and um, this is how Amadeo is gonna look like. This is Amadeo and this is the main character of the characters of table football. As you can see this is the title of the movie. Now I'm not a football fan but I think that is you know pretty cool to be honest. Uh, the story and so. Now um, Foosball is a co-production of a lot of movies, um, of studios, excuse me. But the three most important studios, and again, here is where the names come in that I'm not capable of pronouncing probably correctly, 
but the three most important ones are 100 bars, I think that's how you pronounce it, Pearl um, Jemsa, and Kathmandu Entertainment. Um, apparently it took quite a lot of effort to get to 10 million dollars. Um, I don't think he had many other choices that make this movie within the 10 million dollars reach. Um, but this does look like a very good production. Um, Sergio Pablos is the animation supervisor um, and he's a big name under the animation movie industry thingy. He was responsible, he made the original story of Despicable Me um, which used to, in the very first stages, was called Evil Me. And he also worked on the character designs of Rio, um, a Blue Sky Studios production. And as we all know, that was beautiful, you know, those designs. So, you know, it's that's pretty good, pretty good news. And what got me really excited was the very first trailer. Well, it's a, more of a teaser. Of football and obviously it's gonna be in the description bar below I really really recommend you to watch this the first teaser is the best one there is a second one this one is also gonna be below but I, I don't like that one as much I prefer the first one which shows a lot more character and then there is also a very short making of inside the locker room, um, which might be fun for animation, you know, fans and, and people who love to watch these kind of things. So that's also going to be in the description bar below. Now, that's basically everything that I can tell about this. Um, but yeah, it got me excited. I hope that it got you excited as well. Um, if you're still doubting or if you don't like it, or even if you do like it, in any case, do watch the first teaser, and then I'm pretty sure that you will be more willing to go and watch this movie. Um, since it also is in English, the, te the teaser, they made effort in making them in English, means that this will probably be somewhere found, I hope, also in theaters in America and in Europe and all over the world, but at least I think you will be able to buy it on DVD, hopefully also on Blu-ray. And um, anyway, I think everybody around the world is going to be able to enjoy this movie in either in theaters, on DVD, on Blu-ray or whatnot, but that's good news. So um, yeah, go and watch the first teaser and uh, basically let me know what you thought of it. See you later!